What's up, guys? Welcome back to Mr. Gaddy's Room. Um, for those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Sam Gaddy, and I currently teach K-12 music in Missouri. Next year, I'll be doing 6 through 12 instrumental and vocal music in the same state. Today, my students are checking out of their classes, particularly my secondary students, so I'll be waiting for my junior high band students, junior high music students, and high school music appreciation students to check out with me. What they do is the students stop by the office at some point and get a checkout form, and they go to all their classes and sign off with their teachers. So I'm patiently waiting for that. Um, I'm, I'm also going to organize a little bit of my room today, and I do have some more boxes. I have a Christmas tree up in my closet that I'm going to take home today as well. And um, at some point this week, I am going to start looking for apartments to live, so you probably won't hear it from much this week. Um, but I should hear something from my new school either tomorrow night or Wednesday, um, granting my hiring for the position of band choir director at the new school. So um, with that, I'm going to leave you here and say I will check back with you guys later tonight, and I'm going to wait for my students so I can check them out for the last time. So enjoy your day, and I'll talk to you later this evening. Hey, welcome back to my channel, guys. Um, it just felt so weird just having students come see me um, in person after a 10-week hiatus, basically. Um, it just felt so weird just because, for one, I don't want to tell them that I'm officially leaving until my new job is official. Then, when the new job's official, then I will be able to tell them. So, again, this is why um, I'm not posting the first few videos that I'm going to post until probably next week sometime. But uh, what I ended up doing was I ended up taking whatever I had left down from my walls. I cleaned off my doors because it had cobwebs and stuff on it put my Christmas tree that I was going to take home, my tote that I bought for it, it didn't fit, so one of my co-workers now, she donated a trash bag to me to take it home. I have some other Christmas items. My current school now does a Christmas raffle where they raffle a bunch of Christmas trees on the wreaths and stuff, um, and I bought some of that stuff in intention for my class, but... Since I won't be at this school next year, um, I'll have to set up an appointment with one of my parents and say, Hey, can you grab some of that stuff? I'm donating to you guys so that you guys can use it for your deal in December 2021. So, I want to tell you what got me into this position to move on. Um, first of all, the enrollment at my current school now wouldn't be enough to, you know, have a band program or any choir program grow. Um, and now, at my new school, I'm going to have the opportunity to continue to grow the program as what it was before. Um, the enrollment is quite larger. Not too large, but I'll have more kids to pick from. Um, and I'll be just to middle school, high school, and there are days at my current school that I love doing elementary music, like the little, little kids. So I used a lot of John Fiebron's stuff. So if you're a K-12 music educator, um, I recommend John Fiebron's books. Um, I've used some circle games. I've used a lot of finger play action songs with it. Um, I've used some call and response songs with it. Um, I've used one or two song tales from it with my little guys, and it's quite fun. Um, with third and fourth grade, a recommendation that I have for you to learn rhythms on recorders is Essential Elements for Recorder. Um, by exercise 30, I'll only give you a new time signature already. I hadn't gone far enough in that book because I only see third and fourth grade once a week. 
some of the time I see him on twice a week because every month we rotate who has what for specials on Fridays. So I've used that material and this year I've done boom whackers for third and fourth as well. And um, there's a lot of good resources out there for boom whackers and music K8. Um, there's a lot of play alongs that you can search for on YouTube. Um, I just found it to be an efficient way for me to not only teach music theory, but to keep it interesting for elementary kids. Um, it's a percussion instrument, and I'm a percussionist myself. So instead of trying to teach theory and trying to teach you how to blow the recorder correctly without squeaking or covering the holes correctly, um, because some days during that career, especially the last two years, um, I found that to be very frustrating in the sense of the kids weren't either they weren't getting music theory or they weren't getting the fingers down. Um, when I tried to record a karate with third and fourth the last three years, well, like I said, with this whole COVID-19 thing happening, I didn't get very far with this year's third graders. Um, I mean, we tried, and that's pretty much all we can do at this point. But, um, you know, today just feels so weird. Just because I'm not coming back till next Tuesday. A couple of my co-workers have some training that they have to do, so the office will be closed. Um, so I'm probably going to have my last day be sometime next week so I can uh, get my checkout sheet turned in and uh, turn in the letter of resignation and stuff like that too. Um, but it was just so weird seeing most of my co-workers there, um, particularly the high school teachers. It was just weird seeing them for the last time, uh, potentially. Um, our graduation got moved to the end of July, so I'm sure I'll see them again. Um, I mean, it's just... It's hard to believe that with us many teachers sitting in the fax room together, for lunch, it just felt weird that it could be the last time that I ever see him in person. Because I'll have to look for a place to live uh, to be closer to my new job. And so, that's pretty much going to be what I do the next couple of weeks once I get checked out. I just look for a place to live, look for a decent house or apartment where I'm near my job. And then at some point, I'll have to go in my um, new classroom and get that thing set up. So if you like it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel in the Shugatti's Room. Uh, hit the subscribe button down there. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram. Uh, it is GattyEd92. And that link should be posted in the video or intros that I post. Um, but I will go ahead and post it in the comments section at the end of these next set of videos as well. So, probably what I'm going to end up doing is um, take at least tomorrow off, and then I will check back with you guys on Wednesday. Um, I have some appointments to set up, I have some meetings to go to, and um, that's pretty much it. So, I'll check, back with, I'll check back in with you on Wednesday. Take care.